So, Kevin has to lose 50 pounds, but ultimately, how much do you want to lose? Well, <clears throat> well, uh, for the, you know, for the uh, doctors, uh, you know, once, you know, 50 to 60, he said he would even like to see 100, you know. Me, I just got to, you know, move on beyond that point and see what happens with, with you know, with the, the medical things and, you know, the So doctor. what do you want to do? What would you like to weigh? Well, at least I'd like to get down to two, the, two, uh, the 220, you know. Right. And, and so that's about 100 pounds, correct? Yeah. You know, so, uh, so. And so how have you decided to do that? Well, for now, I'll just start off with the cardio. You know, we got a membership at the gym, and uh, you know, doing with cardio aerobic type stuff, starting off with first, and uh, then then move up from there. And like I said, you know, dealing with the doctor too, also on that, and we'll see, and and staying with the diet, and you know. So, what kind of diet's working for you? Well, right now, you know, I'm on the keto. Right now. So what if I told you there was a diet which would help you lose a lot more and all you have to do is cut all your calories and eat very little? I did that and that <laughs> sucked. Okay, we did that diet and that sucked. It was a, you know, some type of block count <laughs> number diet. You know, portion of the portion of this, a little portion of that. Or eat, eat, eat a quarter of an ounce of, you know, I mean, a quarter. It was like putting Winnie the Pooh on a no honey diet, right? It was so sad. The yeah. whole diet was so sad. The, the diet was, uh, oh, this is where we dreamed about food. You know, it was, that was terrible. We, uh, I mean, I, I remember you know, dreaming about food. Um, you know, that diet was so terrible that we only lasted two, three days before we hit Burger King. So, <laughs> Kevin and I have been such good friends. We do a lot of our stuff together, and we did do keto a long yeah. time ago. Well, we did Atkins, which yeah, was Atkins. the original, right? Yeah. And um, it's before I had discovered George Stella, and I didn't have any of his books that really helped me. And if you've watched any of my cooking videos, you'll know that I find him to be the the foundation of which I built my house. So it's just foundational books. And I'll link a couple below if you want um, in my description. But anyway, we didn't have that help, right? Yeah, true. And so we were eating like <clears throat> cardboard stuff. I mean, it was just, it was, it was phenomenal, phenomenally awful. Mm -hmm. We did Weight Watchers. <clears throat> hey, and I'm gonna tell you, I am a big proponent to do you whatever works for you I don't want to put it down if Weight Watchers works for you if if Block Zone works for you yeah. if South Beach works for you if the cabbage soup thing works for you hey do you and do what works for you but those a lot of those things don't take into account that I'm diabetic and I know a lot of um, a lot of recent books have come out how to counter diabetes and they've been vegan but vegan had its own set of problems for me again if you're vegan do that do whatever works for you but Kevin and I have found that the only thing that worked for us before because mm -hmm. because he's such a good friend he's done every wacky thing that you can imagine um, but what worked for us before um, was was uh, Atkins and so we're going back to that. And basically, it's a low-carb diet. It's getting your body into ketosis, which means it's going to burn the fat um, and, and get all the stuff, um, all the carbohydrates out. It won't be burning that because your body naturally burns carbohydrate. And the first thing they'll tell you, a racer to do, and I've run a couple marathons, and, you know, I know my weight, but I did run a couple marathons heavier than I am now. Um, and they always say carbo load, and so people carbo load. 
I was so sick because I did that that the marathons are really hard. Um, they're hard anyway, but believe me, my sh blood sugars went up, and any time they go up that high, what happens? I crash, yeah. don't I? It's just a terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling. I get very tired and started falling asleep everywhere I was. It's just, it's not a good place for me. So the only thing that's worked for me has been Atkins, a kinogenic, a kinogenic, ketogenic diet. So that's what we're doing. And for me, it's not just a diet, it's, it's a way of life, and it has to be. So how long have we been doing this? Well, for about, we, we, we got on what, about a month ago? Right. Okay. And so to really help us um, stay within what we need, I started just cooking keto, and I started taping it, and my channels come more about kinogenics, um, being in, in, in ketosis, about cooking low carb and making everything low carb and Kevin gets to reap the benefits because he's buying his food and I'm cooking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking it and I'm putting it up because I've gotten pretty darn good. Uh -huh. Have I gotten good? Yeah. Did yes. you like the yes. strawberry shortcake? Yes, I did. How about the chili? Yes, I did. I like that too. How about the ham bean soup? Oh, I, I, I like that, you know. I mean, it, it was all great. How about the cheesecake? I haven't posted that yet. Oh, well, that that, uh, that was actually really good too, though. That was really good, though. How about I mean, the coconut cake? The coconut cake was actually really good. I mean, I haven't posted it yet, uh, but I am going to post it. Um, so we've been eating better. Would you say we've been eating better than we normally eat? Well, in more in a more healthier way, I would say. You know, yes. You know. So, uh, but I mean, I mean, you know, not, not a whole lot has changed. You know, we're eating in a more healthier. So tell uh, me what you used to eat for a week. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's whatever. So it's more than a healthier way. <laughs> I just saying. So, um, so I need to go to the gym. I need to stay making keto. My way of cooking food in there is a way to help me do that, and to stay very keto minded. So um, my videos are going to basically be updates and a lot of it's going to be just on cooking keto. Okay. What are you doing? Well, um, what I am doing is I'm going to, uh, I've been, you know, I've been on keto for a month, lost a little bit of weight. Um, I had, you know, I am just now starting up to go to the gym, I got uh, some stuff that I bought to, you know, of, of sweats or what I'm going to be wearing. And according to what the doctor says, you know, do things like aerobic, aerobics and, and, uh, and cardio, you know, for now. And apparently, you know, apparently so that's what I do, kind of follow along with the, what, the doc, what the doctor says. And do what I have to do. I, you know, just continue on with the with the aerobic and cardio, and then if you know things, you know, they should they should go well here in a few months. In a few months, I would like to get into the weights. I've done that years ago before, and uh, I would like to get back into that again, and just kind of and continue. Doing that, you know, working out at the gym and and eating right though for for now, you know. So. I just I just have to do it. It has to come first. The health thing has to come first now at this point for me. Mm -hmm. So I have to do this first, and it's just what it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think so. So we're gonna keep you just informed every week on how we're doing. I'm gonna keep bringing you keto recipes to cook because. <laughs> I love baking and cooking. This has just worked out for me. I like that so yeah. Yeah, he loves me baking and cooking. Yeah. yeah? Yep. Yeah, it's worked out really well for us. So, and I just happen to be a pretty good cook. All the better. <laughs> That's true, she's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to do it when I was very young. I did some short order cooking. I did some cooking at a country club. Yeah. <laughs> In my younger years, and then I just started cooking for family. Mm -hmm.
for how many? It's been 36 years. Mm -hmm. 36 years of cooking. Yeah, you either get good at it or you just hire. <laughs> hire someone to do it. Okay, guys, I love you. Listen, if you like the content, consider subscribing um, so that you get everything. If you hit the bell, you get notified every time I put up a video. Um, or just keep coming and checking back pack and seeing, seeing what I got to offer that may be of value to you. Um, and if you really like the recipe, make sure you comment. Just let me know. Just put, you know, I like this. You don't have to put a big thing. Just <laughs> let me know. And let me know how you're feeling about it. Um, and let me know a, something you'd like to see being made keto if you want to. That's low carb. If you have a favorite dish, a lasagna, something, and I'll see if I can't cook that and, and, and get you get you something for that. Um, because again, I love doing this and figuring out how to make all this work for me. And I love good food. I mean, I didn't get this way by not loving good food. I love junk food too <laughs> sometimes. I mean, that's some. But anyway, okay, guys, I love you. You know it. And we will talk to you later. See you later.